Hey guys, what's up? It's Gloves Gaming. Today we're going to be doing changes, God Guide, and Smite. Sorry that there's no background noise for the gameplay. Um, my recorder isn't working properly. I'm going to try and tweak some things and figure that out so you guys can hear the game. But other than that, let's start off with her passive, Jade Rabbit. Change can produce or sell I or purchase or sell items from anywhere and her rabbit companion will fetch them. Only white, one item can be buyed or sold in this way at a time. Change also gains plus fit 25 movement speed with no pe back pedal penalty when using her dances. Crescent Moon Dance. Change fl fl flings a crescent moon that hits all enemies in an arc, dealing damage. Her, her and her allies gain a physical protection buff for 3 seconds. Moonlight Waltz. Change performs an evasive dance. Enabled to hit during this action, e each tick of damage that was avoided restores her and her allies' mana. Her third skill would be Moonflower Dance. Change twirls scattered flowers around her, healing herself and her allies nearby. Change heals herself an additional 50% for every god that she heals. Her Moonlight Flower Dance also reduces the healing of all nearby enemies for 50%. 50 for spent for 4 seconds. Now onto her ultimate, Waxing Moon. Change wax changes Waxing Moon captivates enemies, um, dealing damage and stunning them for 1 second. Each sub subsequent, subsequent god that is stunned is stunned for 1 second longer than the previous one. So now onto the first item you want to get, it's always, as usual, boots. The boots of Meiji will give you plus 50 magical power and plus 250 mana and plus 15 magical penetration. The second item you want would be the Gem of Isolation. Gives you plus 70 magical power and plus 250 health and plus 250 mana. The third item you're going to want to get would be the Rod of Tahuti. It gives you plus 125 magical power and plus 15 MP5. Uh, the fourth item you're going to want to get would be the Obsidian Shard. It gives you plus 70 magical power and you gain 33% magical penetration. The fifth item you're going to want to get want to get would be the Spear of Magus. It gives you plus 40 magical power and plus 15 magical penetration. And the last but not least item you're going to want to get would be the Chronos Pendant. It gives you plus 50 magical power and plus 25 MP5. Uh, it's great for uh, making her abilities cool down slower. So uh, her one has a two second cooldown, which isn't a lot at all, actually. So. It's, she's a really good character. I absolutely love her. She's so overpowered in my thoughts. She is one of the hardest gods to kill. I don't care if you're a tank or anything. It's the reason why she can evade Hades' crowd control, Ares' crowd control. She doesn't have to buy beads. She can, if she, you use your ult that does a thousand, uh, like a thousand damage, she can avoid it. So she's very, very powerful and is not easy to die. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Clubs Gaming, out.